when you're making sonic drinks, you gotta go fast. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make five amazing sonic cocktails to celebrate the new release of the Sonic Generations X Shadow trailer, which looks amazing coming this fall for obvious reasons, because Sonic 3 is coming out this winter, and I'm more than excited for it. Obviously, you see me making drinks right now. Jim Carrey just said he's coming back for the third movie, so let's make some drinks to celebrate. So we obviously have to start off with the most iconic character from Sonic, Sonic himself. Now, Sonic's kind of goofy. He's not really your traditional superhero. He's just kind of... I don't know, in every game he even has like wacky catchphrases, but he's not as cringy, I'd say, as Spider-Man. He's honestly kind of cool. So we're gonna do a blueberry vodka, a little bit of cool blue, blue carousel. We had to get the peach rings G Fuel for obvious reasons. A little bit of white peach Calpico. This is a yogurt drink that's amazing if you haven't had it. And finally, we'll finish it off with a little bit of lemon juice. Now Sonic is fast and he is strong. So you know what this drink is gonna be? Fast with caffeine and strong with two ounces of blueberry vodka. Now this vodka does have a slight blue tint to it. That's not gonna affect anything at all. You know, just get whatever blueberry vodka you like. Next we add an ounce of blue carousel. Let's do two ounces of white peach juice. Well, it's not really juice. White peach, non-carbonated soft drink with a yogurt base. It really is delicious. If you haven't tried it, Calpico, everything they do, 10 out of 10. And finally, a little bit of citrus, roll it out, get the most juice you possibly can, because we really want about three quarter an ounce at the minimum. But check this out, guys. I didn't even make my camera guy go get the juice, the juicer, the cutting board, the knife. I was prepared for the first time since we've started filming. Oh, son of a bitch. I want to get good at this. I really do. Oh, shit. I'm gonna do it, not that time, but I'm really feeling good about this time. Okay, let's start lower. Every video, I'm gonna go higher. That's the plan. That's not the way though, but got it. <laughs> and of course that was the juiciest lime yet, lemon. In addition to being able to catch all my citrus in my squeezer, I want to have an episode where I just don't make a mess. I made it, you know, more than one drink before, and I think that's like the record, is like one drink, no mess. Because every time since then, it just gets messy, it's crazy. Let's ice our shaker. And I don't think even the biggest hater out there could deny that this blue color is beautiful and it's gonna make an amazing drink. Let's pour out our beautiful drink. There's only one thing left to do. Top it with our Peach Rings G Fuel. Not only does this just look beautiful, it smells peachy, it smells delicious. I mean, come on now. All that's left to do, give this a nice little stir. We're gonna call that the Spin Dash. Cheers. That's dangerous. That is so good. That is. One of my favorite drinks I have ever made. It might be my number one right now. It really might be, it's that good. I think it's so beautiful, perfect for Sonic. It's peachy, it's got the citrus. There's not a ton of blueberry, I think it's more of a subtle flavor in there, but this is a 10, like across the board, easy 10. I don't even wanna say anything more about it. You just need to try this drink. Try it as soon as you can, just be careful. A Little bit of caffeine here in the G Fuel, this is 300 milligrams, drink responsibly, but enjoy it. Let's move on to the next drink. Now we're moving this right along because the only thing cooler than Sonic is Shadow. And Shadow's finally gonna be in the new movie. I don't know if that's a spoiler. If it is, you don't really care about Sonic because that has been news forever. So let's make this Shadow drink. We're gonna need a little bit of Code Red because Code Red is by far the coolest and most flavorful Mountain Dew. To pair with that, we'll get a little bit of black cherry syrup. Dark rum for our darkest edgelord. A little bit of lime juice. Essentially what we're doing for Shadow is like the coolest daiquiri you could possibly enjoy. There's really not a lot different with the lime juice and the rum, but it's just so much cooler. It has carbonation, it's got Mountain Dew, it's got everything you can eat, so let's make this drink. So Shadow's strong as is Sonic. Let's do two and a half ounces of dark rum. And just a little eyeball there. Next up, our black cherry syrup. We're gonna do half an ounce. Give it that nice dark color that Shadow has. 
get our citrus going, roll out our lime, make it nice and juicy, squeezy. I feel like I should probably stop doing that because every time I do, I get the juiciest fruit. What do you think guys, first time, first time? But it went upside down. I guess I didn't have to tell you that. I could have just like moved it, you know, movie magic, but God damn it. I did it. And we want about three quarters ounce of lime juice in there. Measure it if you really want. I'm just having fun. I don't think it's that serious. But for more consistent drinks, you'll want to measure them. Now that we have all that in our glass, it's time to throw in a little bit of hand flavored ice. Now, if you guys watch me at all, um, you know, I think in just about every video I do, there's a layered drink. I love them. Now, the key to layering drinks is obviously density. That's, you know, knowing what your sugary and least sugary ingredients are, but it's also a ton of ice. That's what's keeping everything separated. So let's pour over ice. And despite this being very sugary Mountain Dew, if we slowly pour it over the ice, I think we'll get a nice color separation, but we'll see. I said, I think. Oh, oh no. I mean, it, oh man, that's crazy. I can't believe how much sugar is in Mountain Dew. God dang. Now to finish off this drink, because we have cherry everywhere, we have both black cherry syrup and code red Mountain Dew, we are going to garnish it with fresh cherries. Well, fresh maraschino cherries, if you will, for that extra bit of red color to really finalize a shadow cocktail. Let's just do all three on there. I feel like shadows over the top like that. Three is the perfect number. And there we have it. That is my Shadow the Hedgehog cocktail. I think the cherries on top are literally the cherry on top. Take off our cherries, give this a little stir. Despite it looking completely mixed, um, some of the Mountain Dew was hanging out on top. Let's just give that a try. Yeah, that's delicious. Really all it is, as I said from the beginning, it's just a spruced up daiquiri but insanely more fun. Definitely a party drink, just a little bit sweet. If you're lucky enough to live, I think it's Texas, has a code red Mountain Dew that's sugar-free and I'm insanely jealous. But overall, there's really not that much sugar in this drink. And if you're just, you know, knocking out one cup or one little soda bottle, I mean, you know, there's worse things out there. So enjoy your shadow drink because I know I will. All right, let's keep it rolling. So I kind of messed up. I did Shadow second, even though this next character I'm about to do just had his 30th anniversary, it's time to do Knuckles. And I think I kind of take Knuckles for granted. He's been around so long that he's just not as cool as Shadow. I think I was like 10 when Sonic Adventure 2 came out and seeing another cooler Sonic made Shadow my all time favorite character. But let's put some respect on Knuckles' name and make a really good drink. This is gonna be a little bit goofy, a little bit crazy. Um, we're gonna start with gin. We're gonna grab our grape pucker for obvious reasons. Knuckles loves grapes. Aperol, pineapple juice, and a white crayon strawberry juice. Now, the idea here is almost a Negroni, almost a Jungle Bird, almost some grape in there. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but I wanted to try something a little bit different, so let's do it. Let's start with an ounce and a half of gin. I really don't do enough gin cocktails on my channel, and that's not because I don't like gin, it's just because I love vodka so much, which vodka is overhated. By the way, we're doing half an ounce of grape pucker. It's just that with gin, I think it's a little bit harder to pair, and I also think there's just less consistency in gin. If I don't specifically tell you what brand of gin to get, it can kind of mess things up. Um, so I always recommend mixing your favorite, I'm just using something basic today. I'm using Gordon's London Dry Gin. It's kind of like a cheaper version of Beef Eaters, but it's still just as good in my humble opinion. After the grape pucker, we're gonna add a full ounce of Aperol. That color is leaving something to be desired, but I'm excited anyway. This drink is gonna be kind of like Classy Knuckles went on vacation from Angel Island finally. We'll do two ounces of pineapple juice and two ounces of our white crayon strawberry. A little more for good luck. Let's grab our ice with our bare hands, then we shake. Grab a glass, fill it with ice. Now we pour. I think my one complaint about this drink is it's not gonna be quite red enough for Knuckles, but like I said, it's kind of like a Knuckles tiki drink, more inspired by him than trying to represent him. 
and it wouldn't be a Knuckles drink if I didn't throw a couple grapes on top. We had some purple grapes. I don't know what happened to them. We're gonna try it anyway. I think Knuckles is more of a green guy. He's got green, no, he has purple eyes. Just had to eat the grapes, man, all of them. And do you see that? I'm getting better. I, I picked up my drink like a classy grown man. Whoa, okay. I'm shocked, there's a lot more grape and citrus than anything else. The gin's just hanging out. Um, it's really playing well with everything. I think gin and Aperol is a classic combo. So adding a little bit of grape and pineapple kind of just made sense. It really just tastes almost like that I don't know what the brand of Popsicle is, but it's like that, I think it's literally just Popsicle. Like, I think that is the brand. It tastes just like one of those. You don't get a lot of pineapple in it, um, but it's really easy to drink. Yeah, I can knock this back easily. Wow, that is dangerous. Let's keep it rolling. All right, moving along. Now, Knuckles was technically one of Sonic's rivals for a little bit. Not really a bad guy, but you could fight him. This next enemy is iconic. We're doing the Eggman. Now I'm super excited that Jim Carrey is coming back to play him yet again. I feel like this has got to be one of his favorite roles. It's so easy to watch him. It's honestly kind of what makes the movies over Sonic and even Shadow being in it. So super excited. Let's keep it rolling. Also, oh, oh, guys, I heard a rumor. There is a small chance that the guy who plays Anakin Skywalker, Hayden Christensen or Christian Haydenson, which whatever his name is, would be playing Shadow, that would be insane. I would watch this movie for the rest of my life and put it up there with the Revenge of the Sith. So anyways, let's make our Eggman drink before I get too off topic. All right, so let's start with the hardest part. We need to crack an egg because the Eggman needs an egg white. So let's do that first before we grab the rest of our ingredients. Perfect. You always wanna do the egg white first because you never know if you're gonna screw it up. Eggman's a cool villain. I could almost give him like a Russian card with his Insane mustache. Let's give him two ounces of vodka. I like how I'm saying that I want these drinks strong. And then it turned out Sonic and Shadow were super easy to drink. Let's grab our sour cherry schnapps now and we're gonna do half an ounce in here. But because sour cherry schnapps is pretty sugary, we are going to skip simple syrup in this drink. Let's go straight to the lemon juice and we want three quarter ounce and let's see if I've gotten any better. Uh, I'm gonna give it to myself. Now this cocktail is going to be a bit of a hybrid. It's inspired by a Ramos Gin Fizz, as well as, you know, just your standard sour. Um, so we start by shaking this vigorously without any ice. And when I say vigorously, I mean vigorously, and for as long as you can, really. It should be about five minutes. We're not, I mean, yeah, we're, we're gonna do that. Do that. Let's shake it. By the way, this is called a dry shake when you don't have any ice in there. We're gonna cheat. We're, we're gonna do something that I think more people should do. I think it would be considered unprofessional to do it. But the idea here is to froth it up as much as you can. So why not grab your frother and just cheat a little bit, froth it up. This is what we wanted. We're just cheating to get there. Now guys, that is the first time I've ever cheated in my life. My camera guy cheats in Mario Strikers every day of his life. It's disgusting. Let's add our ice to our tin. And we're gonna shake that. Oh, shoot. That was very foamy. We're gonna shake this as best we can without making a mess everywhere. It's too late. It's gonna be messy. My idea was to put the glass, or to put the drink in this glass, because it kind of looks like Eggman, but this is gonna be super foamy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch this up. I'll be right back, guys. All right, this looks nothing like Eggman. Oh my gosh, this is foamy. That's crazy. It was kind of a trial here. Kind of like a mad scientist type thing, which is perfect for Eggman. Let's double strain, because we do have the egg white in there. Look how nice and foamy that is. We're not done yet. Grab your club soda. This is such a foamy drink that the peaks could kind of stiffen a little bit. So if we pour along the straw like so, I think they'll continue to pour out of the glass. Eh, I don't know if they're quite strong enough. I think it's just gonna overflow. Uh, I mean, oh yeah, it's overflowing on the front. On my end, it's still pretty, but it's not, it's not as stiff as I wanted it to be. I think if I had not cheated, 
um, and used a frother. Um, we would have a real Ramos Gin Fizz style drink, but I didn't want to do all that work. I don't, I don't have time for that. So anyways, let's try our cherry sour. It's really good. It's really tart, actually. Um, I kind of like that. To give you an idea of how stiff... Oh, I didn't pick up my drink again. But to give you an idea of how stiff the egg whites are, there's no ice in here, just egg white. That's kind of cool. Um, super delicious, though. Really foamy. Really easy to drink. I like that it's really tart as opposed to how sweet my drinks can be. Even if you don't like club soda, I highly recommend this one. And if you really, really, really can't get past it, use a sugar-free Sprite. It's gonna be just as delicious, but this is perfect for Eggman. This is a little bit of a mad scientist concoction that we've created. Let's move on to our final drink and wrap it up hard, real hard. To wrap up this Sonic Shadow little drink series, we are going to finish it off with Black Doom. Now, Black Doom has only been in one game, and I don't think he's made an appearance since, unless you count Sonic Generations, and again, Sonic Generations X Shadow. He really just hasn't gotten that much love, but he is a badass character in one of the most edgiest, craziest, wildest games ever released in Shadow the Hedgehog. So I think Black Doom is very deserving of a drink. And you guys know that I love my Long Island iced tea variations. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna grab our black cherry syrup. Then we're gonna grab our vodka, our gin, our rum, tequila, our triple sec, more alcohol with Peixoud's bitters. And finally, just a little bit of ultra red monster for the monster that this man is. Oh, and you don't want to forget the sour punch straws for garnish. That's the redeeming quality of this drink, if you will. So let's fill our glass with ice and let's start loading this thing up with booze. Say that and then we start with black cherry syrup, just an ounce. Now we're doing a full ounce in here because there's just so much alcohol. It's a sugar-free soda. One ounce is gonna be perfect, I promise. It's not called Black Doom for no reason. We are doing a full ounce of each liquor, starting with vodka. Following it with gin. They say we're doing full ounces yet? Cause we're doing full ounces. White rum. You know how much? Come on guys. An ounce. Let's get the tequila cause Black Doom didn't come here for nothing. Another full ounce by the way. Does anyone know where I'm going with this yet? An ounce of triple sec. And we're ready to chill a little bit. Let's grab our ultra red monster. Now this is just fruit punch monster. If you don't want the caffeine, use sugar free fruit punch like from Powerade or something like that. But we're gonna float that right on top. And this is honestly what we wanted for the shadow drink, but let's, let's not even go there. And let's finish this off. We don't have a lot of balance in here. Let's throw Peixoud's bitters on top for even more red. I did about five dashes. You can do more or less, just depends how much you love bitters. The only thing left now is to get our sour straws. I feel like Black Doom and all his tentacles need something to represent that. How many should we throw on there? He's got like eight arms, but four? Let's do four. Four should be perfect. Let's give this a little stir and we're gonna use our straws to stir it. I wanna be kinda, kinda wild in that sense. I mean, the monster looks like it's still on top, so let's. All right, and do you think I can use the straws? Like they're sour straws, there's holes in them. I should be able to drink out of them, right? I feel like this would be the coolest drink if I can actually. Yeah, it works. And it doesn't even taste that strong. I mean, I poured a lot of Monster in there, but yeah, this is just a really good Black Cherry Long Island. Like really good. And it's not overly sweet. You don't have that garbage sour mix in here. You don't even have sugar from the Monster. The only sugar you have in here is from the black cherry syrup. So this is actually, I mean, I'm not gonna say a safe drink. It's got caffeine in there. But if you are trying not to get sick and throw up from too much sugar, this drink would have you safe all night. I mean, just a couple ounces of sugar at most. And you could even dial that down if you wanted. Um, if you choose decent brands of liquor, they're gonna mix well, they're gonna be perfect. I mean, this is essentially what Black Doom is all about, being a Long Island that can take you out at any given moment, so. That's a delicious drink to end on. And you know what guys, I haven't rated them today. I gotta give Sonic the number one spot, five out of five stars. I mean, he killed it. Sonic's always good. It's got my favorite G Fuel in there. There's literally nothing to complain about. I mean, maybe if I made this with like a peach ghost or something, it'd be bad, but I didn't, so we're good. I gotta give Shadow the number two spot, I do. Um, just, it was simple. It was a twisted up daiquiri with Mountain Dew. Really nothing you can complain about there. I'm gonna go four stars. 
just four stars. Now, Knuckles was a pleasant surprise and honestly something I feel like I've never created so well. So we're gonna give Knuckles the third spot and I'm gonna give it four stars as well, just ever so slightly behind Shadow because Shadow's got that extra cool factor. Even though I just talked Black Doom up all the way, we're gonna throw him in dead last because Eggman was classy, delicious, foamy, tart, a bit of a little science creation. I think that was super fitting for Eggman. We're gonna do three and a half stars for Eggman. And finally, Black Doom, it's a good drink. It really is one of the best, if not best Long Island variations I've ever made. The sky is not the limit for Long Island variations. The limit is like maybe four stars tops. And as good as it was, I'm just gonna give it three stars. It's a Long Island cocktail. There's nothing crazy about it. Try it if you like Long Islands, it'll change your life. If you don't like Long Islands, go ahead and leave it out because that's what it is. So there you have it guys, to celebrate the new Sonic, well, there's so much to celebrate. The new Shadow game, the new Sonic movie coming, Jim Carrey's coming back. It was just the 30th anniversary for Sonic and Knuckles. I mean, there's so much to celebrate. It is finally a good time to be a Sonic fan. I think that's like the second time in my life I felt that way. So drink up, choose the new movie coming soon.